Hi, Tim. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you, Tiff. How are you? I'm good. We were speaking right before our recording, and I know you had a long flight here, so I'm really happy you yeah. you uh, took the time to come. Yeah, I flew in from Amsterdam, lay over in Frankfurt, and then straight up a trip to uh, San Francisco. Yeah, it's quite a long haul, but uh, I'm happy to be here. That's great. And uh, is there anything in particular that you're looking forward to the most tomorrow at Netlify Compose? Yeah, the composable architecture that Netlify is building right now. I think that's very interesting because unifying content or data all, all into one place is something yeah, that's really interesting and could help the company I work for, the AWB, quite a lot. Exactly. Well, on that note, um, I would love to hear more about yourself sure. uh, and your role. Yeah, I'm a web developer from the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. I've been doing it for yeah quite a while, different companies, different agencies and stuff like that. And now working at the ANWB, which is like the Dutch equivalent of the triple A, triple A here in the US. That's great. I like the the example for, for the US watchers. Yeah. Uh, well, as you are a, a technical individual, a web developer, can you recall when you first heard about Composable or maybe even you were, you know, building systems that were composable prior to the term really coming up? Yeah, I think the latter. I did not hear the label composable until I arrived here, basically, mm -hmm. or when I got the email from you. But yeah, managing and unifying data is something that we as developers always try to achieve. Mm -hmm. So that concept is not that foreign to me, but having um, like a, a structure behind it, that's new. Yeah. And I, I'm. I'm guessing you're you're pretty excited about you know there being a bit more structure behind it and even yeah. others getting excited about composable because as a developer I'm sure um, yeah have, working with systems that are modular and flexible versus uh, you know more so on the monolithic side mm -hmm. are, is a little bit less of a headache for you. Yeah, of course. If it, like something every front end, front end devs experience when you want to like unify APIs or one of those APIs like doesn't work as expected, like the whole chain like breaks. So having a system in place that unifies it all together is something that's very interesting. That's great. How do you integrate Composable with your current workflow or when building for your customers? Yeah, so that's a great question. Thanks. With the AWE, we have a mono repo where we host like a bunch of micro front ends that mm -hmm. all share the same design library and so interchangeable components. Mm -hmm. So that way teams can like build like their front-end applications fairly quickly because we have it all integrated into one mono repo. So there, there's the factor of uh, building quickly, so speed. Sure. And I'm sure with you know building quickly and more efficiently, there's a cost savings as well. To yeah, especially what's Im important for us and also a huge cost savers the preview environment of Netlify, so we can like build something fairly quickly and then implement a merge request and then see that preview and then we can move forward from there. Yeah, it really helps move, as you mentioned, very quickly. Yeah. Uh, on the on the note of Netlify, uh, what makes Netlify stand out for you that you recommend it when, or use it, I should say, recommend and use it when um, for your customers? Stability. Yeah, uh, we've noticed it's incredibly stable, mm -hmm. and the user interface is also really good. Like even for developers, sometimes the the front end devs, like me, find DevOps stuff hard. Mm -hmm. And the the user interface feels like pretty intuitive, so it's easy enough for us to work with and uh, provides the tools we need. That's really great to hear. I mean, from anyone, that's really great to hear. But from a developer's perspective, I think it's so key because, you know, developers, I can say this because I used to be a developer, can be very critical, rightfully so. You know, you're dealing with a lot of tools. There's a lot of options out there. So I love that one word, stability. Thank you so much for sitting down and chatting with me today. Awesome.